Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Axiom Verge 2 for one more time tonight. We've got some map and item cleanup to do. Namely, 1% of the map and 9% of the items. Um, and we figured out the whole thing about what tells us what's where, so... Shouldn't take too much longer to, to finish this out, so it could be a, a rather short night. Um, I don't remember where that 1% of map is. I think it's in the non-breach. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it was the... Uh, maybe it was the breach, actually. Yeah, it was this one little bit down here. That, uh, also contains probably an item, so that's fun. Uh, well, what about... Okay, we've got some stuff to do in non-breach, and I think that other bit with the missing map chunk is gonna take a little bit. But, for now... We can just kind of take a look around here. Where the hell are we? Okay, we're up in the blue segment here. Oh, apparently there's another item in the pink. Oh, well, the pink segment's kind of large, so. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and check out everything, I guess. We got this big blue section is done. There's an item or two in this pink section. Let's see what we got here. I spend a lot of time traversing a lot of the map to uh, keep an eye on our little compass thing here. To see what we got. The majority of the remaining 9% of items is going to be um, in the non breach, so we're just going to have to go with it. We have to go with it, we're going to have to find uh, wherever that compass starts lighting up. So, not in this first little segment, it appears. Somewhere in this pink section is an item we're missing. At least one, if not more. Uh, okay, it's not in these first little bits at least. <clears throat> That little segment wasn't in the save room we popped into. Let's, let's keep on going this way and then head down. It's not in this little section either. Let's try over here. It doesn't appear to be in this section. Let's keep on going. I don't know if we have any... Okay, we've got three upgrade points. Is that enough for anything? It is not. We need at least five for stuff. Okay, doesn't look like it's uh, in this little bit either. a little bit down over here. Ow! Jeez, fast little fucker. Okay, not in this little bit either. Anything I would expect it to be in one of these, like, rather large chunks, I guess. But, best to be thorough. You never know when it's gonna be in the little, little tiny, uh, one map square rooms. Not here, either. Okay. Um, I think I did check out that room over there, but then I guess we'll just keep going left.
keep going left from here and hope that we run into it. through a little bit. Okay, it's a, now a rather large open spot, so possible that it's here and the compass just isn't lighting up, but... Oh, no, here we go. Oh, yeah, there. <laughs> it's right there. That we can now get, because we can fly, sort of. Alright, is that going to be the last item in this area, though? It is. Okay. Let's care of that. There's an item in the green section here somewhere. Stuff up down the lower right first. Okay, one more room off to the right. I'm sorry, what? Oh! 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 <laughs> they pulled another behind the waterfall type thing. Nice. Okay, just stumbled my butt into that one. Sure. There's even the uh, items in this back segment, too. That's interesting. Huh. So there's some back half thing that we're missing somewhere. That's very interesting. But alright, how are we in this? Okay, there's still another item in this area somewhere. Not in this room, necessarily. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see you. Okay, looks like there's one square down below. Not here, though. Okay. More fun over there. I got the uh, waterfall area either. I think I must have since I moved my butt over there. But we'll make our way over there just in case. Doesn't take very long to traverse most of these areas the way it is. thing was in that square we got already. Okay, it's over into a different area all 
together. Okay, looks like it's just these few extra above ground bits, although, uh, okay, we're gonna have to go around a little bit. Valley is that, okay, that's still considered that. Okay, we're gonna have to go in through that section to get that upper one. It leaves one last bit here, which might actually be an item on the inside of this thing. Uh, which there is not. Although this leads off to some other place. I forget what it was called. Let's see if that's actually the case. The enrapture or, or something. The emergence, that's what it was. I knew it was an E-word. We've already got everything here. I think. Yeah. Uh, I think we already did whatever that was, yeah. Okay, so this is no good anyways. other areas in this green section to check out now. Just these, like, little couple spots here, and then maybe whatever's on the back side, I guess. The breach over here is pretty well cleared out. on our compass. Except that little bit behind the waterfall, but even then... Hmm. Strange. We already cleared out the Unigor Nuna Gorge or whatever. Urim Valley still has something in it. The underwater bits aren't count as, counted as separate rooms down there, I don't think. Well, just in case they are, we can go check it out. same room. This is the backhand waterfall thing, which is still telling me I don't have a... But it's still considered part of the room Valley, so I imagine... I imagine this would have counted towards that item count, so... Hmm, okay. Check checked out this area over here. Yeah, I think we came in through this side. Okay. Hmm. Which segment of Room Valley didn't we go check out here? Been to all of these. I guess the only segment we haven't been up to is this, so let's see what's the closest way to get over there. Yeah, probably right here. There's another item in this red segment, this Iguna steps, anyway, so we'll have to check that out at some point. For now, we're gonna try to stay on task. Check out this last bit over here. I 
like this would be the last room for this, but we already got something over here, so there's not going to be a second thing. Hmm. So where else could it be then? I thought I checked every room. Hmm. So we make another circuit. Start from the side again. Unless it's every map square, it might set off the compass differently, perhaps. That would be kind of silly, though same general area at the very least. Guess there's more hidden behind waterfalls bullshit that we're missing <laughs> since we stumbled into one earlier. Here was the hidden waterfall thing there. I don't think they would pull that same trick twice in the same room, would they? out items, and this is the only bit here that has the map going on. I remember what was up there, but it was nothing since we've got all map, all items. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Yep, we are both the main body and the little robot. Uh, gained and or lost that bit about halfway through, I'd say. We used to be able to just throw the little robot, of course, as a separate thing. But then we got tricked into losing our main body. So then we were down to just the little robot. And then we got the whole cyborg human thing going back on again, so. Unfortunately, we won't ever be getting our main body back. Spoilers, I guess. We did uh, complete the mainline thing on Monday, but now we're just hunting for the last few items here. Trying to, anyway. Seem to be hiding these last couple pretty well. And what I'm looking for in the lower left there is that little compass bit, the center of it. I'm looking for that to glow. That'll tell us which general area the items are in. And of course, when we look at the map, we see the little items and in map indicator in the lower left as well. Which is what I'm basing my general search areas on here. The one in the Urum Valley is kind of... Kind of eluding us a little bit. Or maybe there's only one left. Maybe there's more than one left. Who knows? Not lighting up for us, unfortunately. What the hell? I don't think we're gonna get lucky enough to just stumble into any more 
Unfortunately. This moves over into Irikar, which we have to find an item in Irikar as well, but we're not done searching the Rim Valley just yet. Hmm. There's so many circuits of this same area we can make before I just go, fuck it, and go to a different area. There are a couple more we can go to. I don't think they would... Oh, wait. What's that over there? It's a box. I think they would hide. I think they would hide items from the compass itself, would they? That would be kind of bullshit. Given that it's the only way we know where stuff is now. Yeah, nothing here, unfortunately. Then that makes me think there must be another behind the waterfall type thing. Some sort of hidden door. Some sort of, sort of hidden door or key combo or whatever that's hiding this last item from me. up in that little crevice. Oh, there we go. It's up in this corner. I wonder how I missed it. Oh, yeah. There. That's pretty... There we go. That's pretty obvious. Alright, well... Earthquake powers will get that for us. Bonk. <laughs> Man, I must have just ignored this little tiny room when we ran through it last time. Okay. Alright, that's all the items in this area now. Uh, okay. Let's start on over here then. At least one or two more in Irikar, near the shoreline, I'm sure. too much further. Uh, nope, nothing. Okay. sections up there. Oh, we're kind of in the 
Oh no, we're not in the biggest one yet. Soon enough, though. Oh hey, a thing. A different thing. Oh, that's the last lore thing. I read the diary. Life in the Aduba is strange and troubling. Lamasu and its Umias lecture us on the laws of science and technology daily. That we may better, that we, that we may better build war machines to fight the Aduk, and yet nobody seems willing to explain how such laws came to be. Masu itself is clearly a machine, yet will not speak of who built it. Go figure. Priests say it comes from the gods. If people can build machines, then Lamasu is a machine. What is to say that the gods are not just people? Ah, that's some logic right there. I've been thinking of this, brother, and I am troubled. How far does the lie extend? Heavens, the abyss, the garden of the gods, are they real? Why does no one question? How is life at home? I trust you have enough silver. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Well, that's all the notes, I think, yeah? Mm-hmm. At least according to the Chivo. So that's cool. Uh, I would presume that is considered an item. There's still at least one more in this area. Well, it seemed like the compass didn't light up until we were somewhat nearby, so maybe I do need to be more thorough about visiting every square rather than just every somewhat interesting region. Alright, I think this is a thing we already did, but we'll do it again just in case. Left, right, left, right, up, up, up. There. I don't I don't know what that did. It made a noise. things to get. 11 total points, so probably looking at a couple medium ability jar things. be in this extremely large section. That compass isn't lighting up, so maybe not. This is kind of buried down here. Ha! <laughs> Just stumbled into it. Very good. Alright, that's all the items in this area. I know there was one up in the Gaguna Steps yet. to where they are before it starts blinking.
where we got the curvy sword thing. Still zaps even our nano cloud, huh? That sucks. Oh, there's a glow. Ah, okay, I have one of these. Hey, game over. How you doing? Let's see. Ya. Okay, let's check the top section of there. Let's check the bottom. Okay. So we kind of got that complicated bit over there in the middle. Long day, huh? Yeah, I hear you. The day did feel a little bit longer than average, didn't it? Nothing 
yet. through there with our nano cloud like that. Okay, check this entire area. Uh, I guess we got that big area down there. Let's go up first. Get your birthday off on Friday. Nice. That's awesome. That's pretty good. For a, a bad time to have your birthday off of work. That's for damn sure. Happy early birthday. I'm just gonna cover my bases right away and assume that I won't talk to you on Friday. <laughs> Oh, are we going to have enough the Dano Juice to get up there? Ooh, just barely. Okay. Okay, get up. So there's a nearby save point to top off here. Well, maybe if we can get up there. Just got that top section and then this middle section to check yet. Yeah. Enjoy it by doing nothing. Hell yeah! Like, you do whatever you want to do on your days off. Like, absolutely. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. It's your day off, damn it. You do whatever the fuck you want. And if that's what you want to do, like, absolutely. Fucking go for it. section here. Which we already kind of, tra well no, we traversed the one to the left. Uh, doesn't look like this is anything. top of this bit and then the center bit down here or possibly this bit over here since we're kind of in that area anyways
another large segment to be keeping an eye on as well. It's on the back side of this. It is not. Okay. Areas left here, then I guess it's just these two little segments. We already got that one there. It's possible it's out in the open air somewhere. I guess we didn't really check this large area either. I feel like I got to the rest of them though. Hmm, okay. How packed full of secrets? I don't know. I think we've got 5% of the items left though. <laughs> We started off tonight with 99% of the map and 91% of the items. So we're getting close. We're getting close to the end. We're getting close to all of them. Unless, of course, those numbers are lying to us. In which case, I would have no idea how many are remaining. There have been a fair few number of secret -y secrets here in our entire playthrough. Our other option is just to go outside then. this segment here. Hmm. Can't imagine there's more than one item in this area yet. Already found another one of them. We were pretty thorough the first time through as well. All that's left is to check by the original Lamasu statue. No, oh, I need to go one more screen down. Couple more rooms in this area. Oh, well, the exception of this little bit here. Uh, I guess that's pretty easy to get to. Ah! 
There we go. Alright. Okay. That's all the items in this area. Okay, there's one in Mount Even, so this entire fucking area. That's a big stretch. It's the one in Lake Amagi, apparently. I think between Mount Even, Lake Amagi, and then the one back in the breach, that might be it. Alright, well, let's start at the beginning. here by this little vertical section on the bottom. Although we might have traversed this area already earlier, I just didn't pay attention. Oh hey, it's an earthquake thing. Uh, yeah, alright. <laughs> that didn't really do much for me, did it? Down here. Oh, there's a blip. Stronger up above. Oh, this was the thing I never got to, right, because I never came back to this area after I got sufficient vertical to get up here. Or no, maybe I did. No, I did. Stronger to the left here. Yeah, definitely further over to the left. Interesting. Okay. It's further down now. It's definitely stronger up above. area, though. It was not. Okay. Very good. Let's proceed. I need some more nano juice here, though. For traversal's sake. Oh, yeah. The music has been excellent. Very well put together, for sure. Just 
just this one segment here that we're gonna have to tap into the breach to get to. Oh, I saw a little blip there, actually. Okay. behind that bush, actually. That seems like a pretty standout thing. It seems weird that they would have a little tiny thing in here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Everything exists for a reason. Oh, that's not the last one yet. Okay. Let us proceed. Um, I don't know if I got that bottom segment there. I guess we'll make a circuit for it. Traversal thing. Uh, let's see, it might have done a might have been a breach thing too, who knows? Oh, okay. Nothing there. Anything on the back side in these buildings? Not this one. Not this one. Well, since we're here, we can take a quick top off. Down here. Okay, nothing in this entire segment. That's fine. I am actually curious where we stand now. We started at 91%, we're up to 96. <laughs> okay, so probably like four or five more then. Getting there. Getting there, getting there. Okay, I just wanted to quickly check these bottom two areas. This is an interval building. Let's... Small section with a breach in it. Which is nothing. Although I suppose we could use this time to go check that other small section just down below. Okay. Very, very noisy section because there's so many damn enemies. I do remember getting at least one item over here already. Not appearing to light up anything else, so. Yeah, looks like there's nothing else here. Alright, that's fine. Okay. 
Okay, so that was a quick jaunt there to catch those bottom two. Uh, I don't know if we got that one corridor, long corridor off to the left there. Oh no, I did check that long corridor, that's right, because I checked it before I went up and around here a little bit. Okay, some waterfalls over here, there's a possibility of something behind them. So we know that's a thing they like to pull. That's where we got the bronze axe, I think. Stronger off the left. Uh, and down below, it looks like. Okay. Maybe even lower. Yeah, okay. Ah, see, this would have been a good spot for it. Top of this thing here. Oh, <laughs> nice. Get that thing to spit out a little health fragment. That's pretty funny. Okay, oh, there's still another one in this area somewhere. They did it. They pulled the fucking waterfall thing three times. <laughs> oh, dang. There's still another thing in the Mount Evan area. Damn. Missed a lot that was in here, apparently. That is funny. Like, if anything's worth doing, it's worth doing at least three times, right? So they did it. Good job. They have fulfilled the requirement of shit behind waterfalls in an adventure game. <laughs> uh, that's super funny. started out. 
Or maybe it was more than three times, because we found two of them tonight. I remember at least one from prior sessions. I don't remember if there was more than that, though. So at least three times. Maybe more. Maybe more. Big block section here. Ah, they're gonna put one behind a frozen waterfall somehow. <laughs> that would be kind of funny in and of, of itself. Oh, I think this was a boss area, actually. Memory serves. Be interesting if they hit an additional item in a boss area. Look like it's the case this time. There either. Is there any um, areas in Mount Eben I need to get through the breach? Doesn't look like it. Okay. there. Very deliberate side area that takes a little bit to get out of. Okay, I remember there being a little passage under here, I think, right? Yeah. something in here, would they? No, 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 nothing along the bottom. Something in the big observatory. Mm, doesn't look like it. There was already something that we got earlier, I think. Anyways, yeah, it's definitely up on this area. And that was a former human I think we just probably murdered. <laughs> it was definitely a human person earlier in the game. But it's dead now, so it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so there's not many other areas to check now. I mean, I guess really on top of the observatory thing? No, it's not standable. Hmm. It's 
up in this top corner. Nope. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Something stronger up above, huh? Oh, oh, there. <laughs> it's literally over here. Okay. Okay, is that the last one in this area? There we go. <laughs> Fudge. Um, do we have enough for... Okay, we've got a six, huh? Okay. So there's only gonna be... Five more ability points somewhere. So presumably we can get this all kitted out. But I think... That's all of the overworld? Oh, there must be at least a couple more up here somewhere. Blue, lightish red, light green, pink, lavender, purple. Okay, la yeah, Lake Amagi has at least one more. But all the other sections on the overworld are done. Okay, uh, let's see, where would be an ideal place to start? I guess up here. So whatever's in Lake Amagi, and then whatever that one bit of map is in the breach that we haven't been able to get to, and that'll be it. That'll be 100% of deaths. Maybe. Assuming they're not pulling some, like, Ultra super secrety bullshit. Which, you know, wouldn't put it past them. Really wouldn't. Let's see anything up there. Uh, I think this is one we already got. Yeah. Up, left, down. Up, left, down, left. Right, 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 right. I think that was something. This was the first, uh, uh, up, left, down, left. Before. Yeah, this was the first behind the waterfall thing I think we got. Right, because it led up here and then the thing was up here. Yeah, that's what it was. It was all the way up over there. anything to be able to hurt this thing. That's kind of the deal. I don't have enough nano juice to do this anyways. wonder if it really is this thing or if it's just somewhere else. seem like it is that big fucker. Damn it. Well, that's no good. <laughs> this just happens to be the area that he's in. seem to be glowing stronger around him. Yeah. I'm gonna have to destroy him somehow. But how? Like, I've got nothing that can... I got nothing that can hurt him. What else do I got here? 
I've got some sort of human weapon that can damage him. Well, human-ish weapon, I suppose. Hmm. Wait, what was the thing? Not bad. Here. Right on top of him, it did not, not light up at all. It is just kind of laying around here somewhere. Going up higher. Like right here. This is centered around where he is, so we're gonna have to try to lure him away so that we can determine whether it is actually him. It appears like it's not, because he's not it's not glowing while he's around there. So it's gotta be right here. Ah, sir. Right on that piece of vegetation. Seems weird. Try to lure him away. Aha! That's good. somewhere it's a big area so I would rather doubt if there's not a second one somewhere unless there is another one over here yeah there is definitely Let's see if I can get rid of his little electricity shooter at the front there. Part of it. There we go. I wonder if we need to disable all those little steam shooters there. Might explain why they give us a ready supply of nano juice.
to all of them. Alright, well, now he's effectively neutralized. I mean, I can hurt him, though, so... Well, at least we can investigate without him murdering us. Stronger up above. The strongest here, but what can we do here? It's not really much. Or something. Oh, did that, did that hit him? <laughs> oh, I bet that goes up and in somewhere. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, I see. There's another thing there. Okay. I see. Okay. That's how we murder him. It's hurting him. Okay. <laughs> okay. One, two, I see two more there. Alright, buddy. I need you to get your weird mechanical snake eel butt up here. So I can go kaboom. Oh, I didn't mean to drop both of them at once. Ah, crap. Do we have to reset the room? Probably. Unless there's more that we can use. Ah, plenty more up here. Okay. Hopefully it'll be enough, because we wasted that one. And possibly the first one. Stand a little bit further out of reach. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's good, but did it get the thing? There it is. Yeah. single point one though, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, and there's still uh, items somewhere. That must have been this one. Door we have not unlocked. <laughs> well, that's kind of worthless right now. And it's pretty much the extent of this large section here, I would imagine. The one thing up in the rocks, and then the big snake eel thing, right? Which I guess technically was a boss. We did it. areas here. We scoured this space pretty well. Where did we even start, actually? Alright, I guess
guess let's work it right to left then, because I don't remember where I- Oh no, that's right, I started up here. I kind of made my way across. Let's go over here. covered when we cut across. I guess it's just down to the right. first before we head back. There, let's cover the very bottom of this big room. Looks to be about it, because we went over there already. Okay. Oh, there. 
Ones. Okay. Uh, uh, I see. Yep, I see. Okay. Uh, oh. There it is. <laughs> it's like, where the fuck is it? Okay, just gonna drop ourselves down there. in this area? It is. Good. Magi is taken care of. I think that's every area in the overworld then. There's what, two or three of them? In Lake Amagi. So I guess we're down to just that one map bit in the breach. Which is... here. No idea how I'm going to take care of that. Go check it out. It's the one kind of little area that I couldn't manage somehow. But we've got easy access to this spot. Wouldn't just dead end us here for no apparent reason. So my curiosity is now, does that match any of our symbols? Is there something more we can do with the breach to get over there? The answer seems to be no. I can hear something from the left. Doing some bullshit. Oh, ah, well, wow, that couldn't have been simpler. Just fucking bust down the damn wall, and there's the Chivo Pop for 100% map. Uh, are we still missing? We're still missing something. That's curious. Oh, there's still another item in Room Valley here. Uh, okay. I'm guessing it's another ability point. Yeah, it's gotta be a single ability point so we can get the last thing. Alright, no problem. No problem. This isn't a very large map segment to cover, so... We'll have it in a few minutes, I guess. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Oh, is this another... It's like a little eyeball statue thing. Yeah. Sort of, but also sort of not. Oh no, look at that! <laughs> There's the two Chivos for 100% items and 100% uh, ability point flask things. We did it. Took us a while, but we did it. Full fucking power. All right. Good job. Well, I guess there's nothing much to do but to go beat the game one more time and call it a night. Let's see if I remember where the end game was at. <laughs> Not a particularly challenging end game, mind you. It's a Pretty simple bit of combat. And then a, a naturally an escape sequence to it, right? Because of course there's an escape sequence to a Metroidvania. Let's 
So blah, 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 blah. Fill up the shockwave bomb with a bunch of green goo and blow it up and get the fuck out. That's all we gotta do. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm a girl, blah, blah, blah. I stole your body and I now I'm in this weird thing and blah, blah, blah. Oh no, suddenly shit's gone wrong. I'm in a weird energy crystal thing. And then who should appear to save us? But us! <laughs> Hell yeah. Hack the bomb, fucking turn it on, get foe. I doubt this will change the ending at all, having 100% items, but it's worth a try, right? Kind of a tepid escape sequence, as far as escape sequences go. There's not really a whole lot of time pressure. You get about 20-ish seconds more than you need. Maybe a little bit less. There. See, if they had given us 15 seconds less, that would have been a little tight. But such as it is, there we go, we did it. Fucking destroyed the portal to answer, destroyed the last Siuna, everything's wrecked. Our original body is gone, probably vaporized, whatever. But we're alive. And then there's not a whole lot of closure. Sets it up pretty nicely for Axiom Verge 3. <laughs> Although it's not really clear where that would begin, honestly. Blah, 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 something about a pattern mind, blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada, yada. I'm not who I used to be because I'm this weird, mostly nano machine thing now. That's pretty cool. Being a human kind of sucked. <laughs> but we did it. Credits roll. We get this extra little scene here. Of us finally reuniting with our daughter, and, you know, Dr. Hammond's there too, why not? But hooray, we did it, everybody's happy. <laughs> well, let's let's take a look at all these hundo percents here. Only took us 12 and a half hours. 100%. 100%. 100%. Oh, wait, no, 12. <laughs> uh, fun stuff. Good game, though. Axiom Verge 2, real good game. Recommend. Strong recommend. Um, but yeah, I think we'll call it early there tonight. We did what we needed to do. Got the remainder of the items, remainder of the map, etc, etc. But we'll wrap Axiom Verge 2 right there. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7.30pm CDT. It'll be Shmup Book Club. So more Scrambled Valkyrie, or Gradius Gaiden, or Kaikon. Friday we're off. Saturday we'll see what happens. It'll be early afternoon CDT at some point if we do decide to do something. Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, will be long play. We're done with Monolith for the time being. We uh, accomplished our goal in beating Chaos God, so that was fun. Um, so we'll have to pick up something else for long play. And then next Monday, 7 p.m. CDT, since we're done with Axiom Verge 2, we'll pick up a new game. Should be fun. Should be fun. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.